Hi everyone, uh, my name is Julia and currently I am Head of Customer Support here at Woodpecker. I've started my career path in outreach around six years ago. I used to work in lead generation agency in Poland uh, as an account manager. So basically I had some customers and I was responsible for creating copy for them, for serving the woodpecker because uh, this agency used the woodpecker and for checking the general performance of the campaigns. And I remember that that time there was no information about deliverability, some technical records or issues because email sending providers were working totally another way. So in cold email outreach, everything you need is a good prospect base and um, copy. That's all. And after this agency, I've joined Oatpacker and learned really a lot of stuff about deliverability and how, thanks to technical records or warming up process, you can improve the general results and performance of your campaign. And also as a support agent, I had a lot of cases from our customers connected with deliverability. So it was really good to, to learn how it works based on different stories of our customers. I remember that monthly, like we have 10% of all conversations that came to support connected with deliverability. So it was really, really interesting to find out why performance of campaigns is not okay or why some stats are not so high as customer expected. And also I remember one specific case connected with our partner and customer. Uh, we used to have a Skype for chatting with uh, our customers and one day, it was around three years ago, our partner from Ukraine wrote to ask, uh, asking what is the address of our office in Poland because he would like to visit us. And generally speaking, we were shocked because it was the first time someone asked uh, us to, to visit our office and our company. But we were also happy because we wanted to see in real life uh, one of our customers and to talk uh, with him about Woodpecker and his internal processes because he was an owner of lead generation agency. So I remember that he wrote, let's say on Tuesday and next week on Tuesday he visited us and uh, we had a meeting and he told that uh, he had really big issues with uh, his agency and they are connected with deliverability. So he decided to come to Poland to visit us to resolve all such issues because uh, he was not sure about the future of his agency and business. So he told that um, they've bought uh, a new domains for customer or customers, uh, then create a new uh, email accounts, add some technical records that are needed for the sending purpose like SPF or DKM, start the sending process and during uh, first week or two results are great, campaign is performing uh, and, and everything looks like uh, okay, but then they uh, are noticed uh, sudden drop down in all stats uh, like open rates or response rate and uh, very high bounce rate and they do not know why does it happen uh, and based on this they are not able to uh, create a new campaigns or to see like some results uh, and because of this they do not have leads for a customer and uh, like there is a big issue and they do not know why does it happen in general and how to resolve it. So, of course, our support team uh, made an investigation of all campaigns and account and we found a very big gap inside the process of preparing for starting uh, the sending uh, process in Woodpecker uh, for, for our partner because um, we've discovered that um, this partner and employees of, of his agency, they were not aware of the warming up process at all. So they did not warm up any email accounts or domains. Um, they were just uh, buying new domains in your email accounts, uh, setting up uh, technical records and uh, just start the sending process and that's all. And uh, based on the fact that uh, email accounts and domains were not warmed up, 
uh, email providers and spam filters were able in a very fast way uh, to detect uh, that uh, such uh, messages that were sent from these email accounts and domains uh, are not okay, that the reputation of the domain is really bad and they were blocked. So we decided to help uh, this uh, partner and, and our customer and together with the employees of his lead generation agency and our support agents, we uh, start um, the manual recovery process of the domains and email accounts that were burned. So it was very time consuming and uh, it was difficult manual process but uh, it was very successful. So we've created uh, some Excel documents and files. We've provided uh, our partner with our internal test email accounts that were used for um, manual recovering uh, process. Uh, we've created the schedule uh, also inside an Excel file when support agents will be sending messages to the employees of the, this lead generation agency, when they will respond to these emails and in such a way we were creating artificial conversations. So we focused on three or four domains with email accounts um, and it took us around two weeks to make this recovery process. Uh, and to um, change the reputation of domains from bad to neutral or good. And we've seen the first results. Uh, then we've also supporting this agency, but in warming up new domains and new email accounts that were not used before uh, for the sending uh, purpose. So it was like an experiment also for us inside the Woodpecker because we want to learn how the process of warming up an email account and domain and recovery process, uh, how they are work. Uh, and we've learned a lot um, like technical things, uh, what to do, uh, in which way we should do it, in which way we should send these messages. And uh, also after this case, we've helped uh, our uh, customers with uh, such manual processes. But as I mentioned, it was really time consuming and uh, uh, we should spend a lot of time uh, and also our customers to deal with it. So thanks God, uh, in the end of 2021, uh, our product team released Woodpecker's uh, warm-up and uh, recovery uh, feature, which helps our customer with no additional cost to warm up and recover their email accounts and domains. So uh, our customers should just uh, turn on the icon inside the app and the whole magic will start um, inside uh, a woodpecker. Our customers do not need to send any manual messages to create uh, test accounts and to create an artificial conversations. The system um, based on some scenarios will send uh, messages to warm up and recover domains or email accounts so that our customers will be able uh, just to start use them um, in Woodpecker.